Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy. I am so freaking sick of having to see these goddamn news articles. I am so freaking sick of it. Honestly, how hard is it to just keep your libido in your pants, save it for when you get home so that no one has to get hurt and you don't have to get in trouble? How, how hard of a concept is that? I mean, I feel especially there's been a lot of cases that you hear of like content creators or like people in the entertainment industry or even people with a little bit of power in their hands to just think that they're unstoppable and indestructible and go about doing these absolutely horrendous things to real life people and putting themselves at risk and putting others in harm. Like how, like why is it so hard to just not do that. If you've seen the title of this video, case number God knows how many, someone in the anime, manga, and gaming industry running into trouble with the law for doing the most degenerate shit that anyone can imagine. How many of y'all know the game Uma Musume. Uh, it's, it's a pretty big game, especially here in Japan. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically think of horse race betting, which is already a massive culture here in Japan, but turn those horses into cute anime girls. Well, you see this man right here that you can see next to me is someone who was responsible in working on the Uma Musume anime as well as other Uma Musume based things where he was one of the main songwriters for the Uma Musume anime series, which by the way, yes, there was also an anime adaptation of Uma Musume, I did actually watch it and I thought it was actually pretty all right. But today we are not talking about the anime. We are talking about this man right here, whose name is Tanaka Hidea. He's a 35 year old songwriter, again, most famously known for creating a lot of notable songs in the Uma Musume anime. But I don't care what his accolades may be. Just the other day, this man was finally arrested and convicted for predatory activity towards a 15 year old Girl. So the story goes, according to this Live Door News article, is that last year in August, there was a 15 year old high school girl who was just hanging around in the, the, the bicycle rack of some kind of, you know, station or whatever, when this guy right here walked up to the 15 year old girl and said this phrase right here, which essentially translates, and I hate that I have to translate this. He basically said something along the lines of, I'll give you money, so can we have sex, please? Uh, uh, fucking disgusting, mind you. Again, may I remind you, this is a 35-year-old man asking a 15-year-old stranger to sexual favors and even having the fucking audacity to say that I will give you money if you do it for me. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? And if you thought that was already bad, because it is, anyone can tell you that is the fucking horrible, this man's resume of fucked up shit just keeps on increasing because last year between September and October, he went to Ebisu Station, which is a, a big station in uh, Tokyo, which is south of Shibuya, if you've ever been to Japan before. It's actually a really great place. I would recommend it. But between September and October of last year, he also was caught and charged for taking unsolicited pictures of girls around Ebisu Station without their permission, which by the way, in Japan is against the law. It is, it, it is a federal crime. Not only that, but at Yurakucho Station on the other side of Tokyo and Tokyo Station, while inside of a train between the two stations, he, I can't believe I have to fucking say this out loud. He grabbed his phone, stuck it underneath a girl's skirt, who was also underage at the time, and took photos without her knowing. Basically, he ran two counts of absolute horrible perversion charges just in those two cases alone. And mind you, these are two separate cases to the first case of him asking sexual favors from a 15 year old girl. And so with these three turd colored accolades in hand, he went into his first trial just the other day where he openly admitted to all of the charges saying that there was no doubt that I did that. Not only that, but he actually gave excruciating detail as to why he did it and how he did it. As if this story couldn't get any more fucked up. It says here concerning the 15 year old old girl that he asked sexual favors for, he said, oh, the face and the vibe, whatever the hell that means, of the girl was really up to his likeness. And so he got on the train and after he followed her 
out of the station and to the bike rack, he asked for said sexual favor. Out in the fucking open, and, and mind you, this is probably at like during a time where there were also other people around as well, which is probably what set off alarms for everybody, which eventually got him convicted. Not only that, but concerning the perversion charges of him taking photos of girls like under their skirt in the train, he said he gave us this shocking uh, discovery and news that apparently he said that over the past 10 years, he's done this exact same thing more than 10 or so times. So not only did he do extremely illegal things and extremely disgusting things to these innocent women, but he's been doing it over and over and over again for over 10 years. Like this man has no redeeming qualities about him whatso fucking ever. And when asked in court as to why he did these horrible crimes, he gave us uh, two sentences right here, which again, I'm dreading the fact that I can read this and I can translate this for you guys because I don't really want to say this out loud. First reason he gave as to why he did it was that he wanted to feel the thrill of potentially not being seen or being seen. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, are you so devoid of dopamine in your life that you have to do crazy shit like this? You know, when most people want a hit of dopamine, they, I don't know, go skydiving. You go and travel by themselves to a place that they don't know. You know, maybe start a new hobby or something. And if this is his idea of a new hobby, then yeah, he really needs to think about his actions behind a freaking jail cell. The second reason that he gave was that he felt a lot of stress from his day-to-day -day life and he needed a way to get rid of that stress. Does this man not know of a little thing called Tanga? Like Japan is only the leading country in sex toy sales and you know ways that you can relieve stress quote-unquote in a safe environment where no one else has to get involved and you're just in the comfort of your own house. Millions of people do it all over the world and again there are more ways more safer, more, less law-breaking ways that you can relieve stress. Again, some people go skydiving for a reason. I understand that maybe, you know, the Uma Musume department that he was working at is a very stressful department, and it's no surprise that the Japanese working environment is probably one of the most stress-inducing work environments in any country. I've done desk work at Japanese companies before. That shit sucks. That's why I'm trying really hard to be my own boss. But again, like, why the fuck would you run to doing shit like this? This is not worth it. Is it really worth it to throw away all of your accolades, all of your life's work, all of the hard work and dedication and trust that you have built up from working on anime like Uma Musume, and he even worked on some Idol Master stuff as well. It, like, you know, all of these like pretty big anime series, and he was probably getting paid a decent amount for this kind of stuff too. And if not getting paid a decent amount, getting a lot of recognition in a very tight knit industry, you probably had a bright future ahead of you. And you, your, your dumb ass just happened to go, hey, you know what would be a really good idea? If I just took all of this hard hard work that I have achieved and just threw it in the fucking trash can. Because that's essentially what this guy did. And not only did he do that, but he also probably gave some real fucking scarring and life changing experiences to these innocent women who were just trying to live their normal fucking lives. And it's so sad because I know for a fact that this is not going to be the last piece of news like this that we see come out of Japan. Hell, other countries are guilty for this shit too. It's not just Japan. But why does it have to happen every single time? Why does it fucking have to happen from someone in the anime and manga industry? What What is it about the anime and manga industry that gets people doing this shit? I don't understand. Because for those of you who don't know, uh, I've covered in a video in the past of another case or a number of cases similar to this where a bunch of famous manga creators were also charged for similar perversion activities. Some of them were even worse than this, uh, if you can believe that or not. I'll leave that in the card up there or the link in the description if you want to go check it out. But it's just so upsetting. Not only has to happen to begin with, regardless of what this person's occupation is, but all of them just happen to be in the anime industry. Why the fuck is that happening? Can we please chill and come collect our mans to stop people from doing this kind of stuff. Everybody is fucking sick of this shit. I'm sick of it and I have to cover it in a video because I know people are going to be asking me to cover it in a video. But at least what I can do by covering these kinds of news in a video is that this is 
a massive problem in Japan, a massive problem just in general, but I feel in Japan especially because of the A, lax laws, and B, just from the fact that the, these guys think that they can like get away with this shit because a, a, quote unquote everybody else is doing it and that my work is stressful. Like dog, you're not the only person who is in a stressful work environment. Literally everyone in Japan, every working adult is in a stressful work environment. And do you know what we do to get rid of that stress? Definitely not fucking asking a 15 year old girl for sexual activities, that's for sure. So yeah, this was just, again, another sad piece of news. Frustrating piece of news is more like it. I'm fucking, I'm fucking pissed, dude. Like what? Why? I hope this guy goes to fucking jail. Like, just straight up. I mean, he was already convicted in court, so he is probably going to jail. But knowing, again, Japan's fucking shockingly lax rules concerning uh, sexual assault and stuff like that, he's probably not going to get as big of a punishment as everybody hopes he does. Use this as an example. So, for one, not do this shit, because clearly some people need to be told, and by example, to not do this shit. And two, to just, like... Fucking relax. Like, I get it. You're stressful at work. That especially is not an excuse. And there is absolutely no excuse to go and do stuff like this. It's it's just not right. Like, you're a 35-year-old fucking man. Like, just, like, fucking go to a soap land. Go, go watch porn and jack off. Go, go do skydiving. Go do something, dude. Like, something that is not breaking the law and ruining your reputation forever and ruining an entire industry's reputation forever. Like, like, it's, it's so easy what to do that. Like, why do you not think about that? But yeah, that's about it for this uh, rant video, I guess. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger. And over here next to my head is a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one. Social media is in my description as well as YouTube, TikTok, Shorts, and Patreon. And please let this be the last time I talk about a story like this. Let, let this be the end. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.